Yeah. So next topic we're going to be talking about is this Tiger apology. Everybody want to apologize this week for some reason. <laughs> if you don't know, Tiger had put out a song called I Caramba where he is portraying a Mexican guy and doing a lot of Mexican stuff in the music video. And obviously the Mexican community had something to say about it. They didn't like it. They didn't like it. It was just on this. Mexicans had a podcast expressing their sentiments on Tiger, and a bunch of bunch of Hispanics feels the same way. And Tiger went to Power 106, the LA Leakers, and sat there and said his apology. So I can't say like what's a, what Mexicans are offended by and not. You know what I'm saying? But I know like I had no intentions on offending anybody. Like mm, you know what I mean? Right. So for one, like I want to apologize to like um the mexican com community and like my fans that are mexican like i have a lot of latin fans i definitely didn't have any in intentions to like offend anybody that's mm -hmm. why i want people to know and you know if people are offended i really apologize that's why i really wanted to sit with you because oh, i'm like you, it's important to me especially like my mexican fan base like i do a show 50 percent of the crowd in california or on the west coast yeah. is, is mexican sure. and those are my fans so if anything i'm hurt that if they're hurt you know what i'm saying yeah so you know like i i see i see why he did that exactly for that and you know it's cool and all that's cool but when black people are getting made fun of and everything it's kind of shrugged off like I, I totally understand that the hispanic community has something to say about this but Hispanics, like DJ Khaled, a raps everybody, just throw around the N-word. And this video right here is exactly what kind of offends me in my culture. Check it out. You're just a ghetto coon, brother. Oh. Everybody's guy. He's a big black guy. He's got the big black guy syndrome, homeboy. So all I know is I got my platform, carnal. Use a fool, use a chump, and use a ghetto coon. With that, I'm out. When you guys were slaves, you guys would run to Latin countries, brother. But really? Oh, hell no. You're just a ghetto coon, brother. You're just a ghetto coon. A lot of the ghetto coons do that. They talk a good one. Let me fuck them niggers. Let me fuck them niggers. Let me fuck them niggers. He's what he's got. He's the big... Yeah, so... I mean, you mean to tell me y'all wanted an apology from Tygo for making a video where he really wasn't even downplaying the hispanic community but this video actually came out and no jumper posted it the same guy this is the same guy with their podcast they made light of this and it like i'm not saying the hispanic community is the only community that don't take heed into black economics but you know like like uh dj Khaled says it a bunch of bunch of ethnicities say it, so I just think it's the pot. It's the pot calling the kettle black. But Bobby, you seen what's going on and you heard the videos and all of that. What is your take on all of this? The way I see it, Tiger, I'm here for the. I'm here. I'm a representative of the, of the black delegation. <laughs> um, until. Takashi six nine apologize for saying nigga every word. Take your apology back. You can't play on, you can't play on our stereotyping to be like, oh, well, we didn't mean nothing by it. Oh, we didn't mean nothing by it. I take it back. But the minute you make a video, not even really playing on stereotypes, but you going on what you see of the people. And now, I, only thing I can say is, you know, Tiger may have been a little bit wrong by not understanding. A culture or trying to get to understand a culture but why should he when they play on our stereotype that they made for us all the time and then Takashi 6 9 has been made a career on saying nigga forever so why should he apologize when Takashi 6 9 had apologized when that goofy that was in the video hadn't apologized so no i don't think he should apologize sorry but right. he knew it was coming in this in this today's area with the with 
everybody want to counsel everybody, but he knew it would come. So a lot of times you got to kind of play it caution on that too. So, I mean, you might have been trying to pay homage. I don't know. I hadn't seen the video. So, but let's say he's wearing homage. You can't pay homage without people getting offended anymore. So, I could easily say I'm offended by every song, every interview that Takashi 69 has dropped. So, do, do he owe us an apology? <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I totally agree, man. Just like, because it's been, it's been going on for a long time in the hip hop community where it like, besides why, well, even, even, even Caucasian people being taken advantage as far as uh, like using the hip hop thing as a stepping stone to elevate what they have going on. And but see, we just, give them that pass. We give them that pass in the neighborhood by saying, oh, you, you're a cool white dude. You can say nigga. You can do this. You can do that. No. If we if we stop like Fat shit, Joe, Fat Joe, all Fat, around the board. Fat Joe isn't isn't black. He's his he's Hispanic. Exactly. And he's made a career on saying nigga. He's made a career on playing directly off hip hop culture and our stereotypes. So don't come and persecute a black man when he started doing it because you got everybody eminem has built a career on it but uh, then, well, well, eminem, eminem haven't said the n-word but he used hip-hop as far as but at, oh, eminem, yes, eminem, oh, eminem, yes. eminem is at the career eminem hasn't really been looked at as the white rapper like he actually earned his respect as being one of the top mcs in rap but I'm, I, I, yeah, I, I understand that sentiment, but also he did drop a video of talking about black women or this and this and this and this and that. So, I mean, it's that comfortability thing. If you make them feel comfortable by saying that they can do certain shit, but when it come around to where we comfortable with other cultures, we can't say it. or well, we can't do it because you offend somebody. Cancel that shit all around the board. You know what I'm saying? You can't directly play on our culture and we can't directly play on your culture, but we're going to have to come to an understanding about it. You know what I'm saying? Right. <clears throat> right. So, like, I mean, I don't know, man. Like, it's crazy, man. It's crazy. But, the but most people get offended too easily by things. I mean, it's just let it let it flow. I mean, we we all got to live on this earth together. So, I mean. Right. And, and it, we play what we around. So, I mean, if he around Spanish people, let him play to what he thinks Spanish things are. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's like with black people, same thing. But, I mean, if it's not in malice and not in no ill intentions, man, what's wrong with people, you know what I'm saying, doing things like that, man? You, you know, like I said, you can't, as long as there's no ill will behind it. That's, that's my thing. If I know right. it's ill will, yes cancel them i don't think it's a such thing as council culture but i mean no nah. that's neither here nor there but i mean that's a whole different you, conversation right there yeah you can't get offended by everything everybody does because nobody is going into this shit with ill will come on man this tiger man that man has had a clean career other than little hiccups here and there so it, you know he's not going into that video with ill intentions or ill will towards a, a whole community come on man right is that you, you, you they're just looking for something to counsel somebody about man just be real about it yeah and i and i and, and to to go into a deeper detail i actually think it was just clout that that podcast that that guy that you seen on the video was just trying to just they're trying to get clout i i think that's the deep the, that that's the deeper thing about it i think it's all about clout like exactly exactly he's just trying to get clout and and they got it they actually got it but it's i think that when that video goes a little bit more viral it's going to backlash on what they got going on yeah, the, the deeper thing into this whole situation is what anybody any of these people feel comfortable with doing this people doing this shit when other people around like when he'd have felt comfortable if it was the black man sitting in the room to say all of that shit that he said and if you can't play it off of he you feel uncomfortable to say it around the people that you 
Because I don't think Tiger will be scared to do what he did in the video around his fan people. Because yeah. I don't think it was that offensive. I mean, if I seen the video and I no, it's 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 really not, man. It's really not because you know, um it's 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 really not, man, because like all he doing is like dressing up like a Mexican and portraying like he's Mexican in the music video. He's not really to me, to me, I didn't do no reaction to it, but to me, he wasn't really uh I didn't take it as an insult. But is that what I'm saying? We have to honor, we have to figure out. That's why I say we have as a as like a people, not just Hispanic, not just black, not just white. We have to sit around and understand each other's culture to see what's offensive and what's not. You know what I'm saying? That's basically all it is. But we so divided and we don't sit down and we don't talk to to understand what's what's triggering for this culture what's triggering for our culture because me personally every time a person that's not of color say nigga is triggering to me right. i don't like that shit. you know what i'm saying but i can't in the same breath when it's 20 other niggas saying oh he the cool mexican he can say nigga. i i can't argue it i can't fight it no more but it's triggering to me you know what i'm saying right so we can't pinpoint and break down and and such and such or whatever if it's cool in one sentence and it's not cool in the next you gotta let it go on both ends if you're gonna let it go or if not we gotta sit down and have a conversation about it right right but the most important question is what is your thoughts on this topic about a tiger apologizing are you triggered about any other people that says the n-word besides white people leave it in the comment section below hit that like button and holla at me.